Hey everybody. This is a look at my figure eight puffer butter bean. Uh, nothing in particular on my mind tonight. We're not going to do a feeding video or anything. I've actually been in here tinkering around with my waterfall tank that you can probably hear behind us. And I didn't realize it was getting so late. It's already about 930 and I'm going to be coming in here and getting the lights turned off in the next half an hour or so anyway and so I don't really have time to do anything I want to do a water change here on Butterbean's tank it's not urgent I just did one not too long ago uh, I used the siphon hose and I removed a lot of the red cyanobacteria or whatever that stuff is that grows on the gravel and the substrate on the bottom and I removed a lot of it off of the leaves of my java fern in there And so I don't need to do a lot of cleaning up necessarily. I also wiped the glass down pretty good the last time I was in there. And so all I really need to do is just sort of freshen this water up a little bit and nothing more. I'm considering adding a few more bumblebee gobies into this tank. They're so small you barely notice them. And they could certainly, you know, stand to have many more of them in here. Uh, without getting into each other's way or getting them, you know, in any kind of way of being territorial like to get a little closer view but whenever I get the camera too close to him it's gonna freak him out and he's gonna want to tend to go away so you can still see the marks on him they're not going away but they're also not getting worse and they're not necessarily anything that looks like it should be immediately concerning like there's no fuzz growing on it um, the behavior is normal. I'm not seeing him flashing against everything. He's not sulking in the corner. His color's good. His belly's nice and bright white. Uh, even now where he's not quite sure what's going on with the camera and everything right here, uh, you can see his belly's still nice and white. It's even still a little lumpy and misshapen from his dinner tonight. Uh, tonight he got his freeze-dried krill that float at the surface. It's a little harder for me to get video of that. Um, He's so shy, a lot of times even just me opening the lid will scare him away and I have to throw the krill in there and just kind of walk away and he'll find it in his own time and a lot of times he won't even find it. If I scare him too much, he'll go and hide and then the krill will soak up enough water that it sinks and I'll see the shrimp in there working on it or I'll see the uh, mollies in there working on the shrimp and he winds up not eating it he only seems to eat it when it's floating and still sort of dried and crunchy so holding a camera in my hand and you know opening the lid and trying to throw the krill in and getting the camera close enough where we can really get a good look at him that's you know easier said than done and it's not even easy to say so probably not going to see too many videos of that it's really fascinating though because of all the noise he makes and he's really aggressive with it. He grabs it and he thrashes it around and he crunches away on it. And I mean it's almost comical the way you just see it get shorter and shorter. Um, it almost looks like sort of Bugs Bunny style uh, eating a carrot. You know how it just, he, he's going tum 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 and it just gets shorter and shorter and shorter and then it's gone. And then I throw another one in and he zooms back up to the top and grabs the next one. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that on video. So I might try to set a little tripod up. I do have a very small tripod that's got the flexible legs. It's meant to be, you know, wrapped around tree branches and stuff like that for outdoorsy videos. But I can also set it up in here uh, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to get some good video of him up near the surface. I can just angle the camera upward. The only problem with that is having the tripod in his tank is probably going to make him a little less likely to act normally. Even just having the GoPro camera sitting in there on the bottom. Uh, you know, when I do my feeding videos, I just set the GoPro on the bottom and walk away for a few minutes and let him kind of get used to it. And then I throw some snails in and, you know, gradually he comes out and he gets used to the camera being there. So I don't know how quickly he'd get used to having a tripod sitting in his tank too or who knows maybe he might go over and investigate and we might get some cool video out of it that way but right now I've got the tripod I just don't have the way to mount my GoPro to the actual tripod itself so we won't be able to do that just yet anyway but 
anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. Just wanted to chat about his tank a little bit for a few minutes before I come in here and get all the lights turned out. This is going to be today's video. And again, like I said, I was working on my waterfall tank. Nothing really worth shooting video about. Just working on the back side of it, making sure the um, you know the legs that are propping up the back and everything are still holding it up fine and giving us a little bit better view and me less likely to trip over anything. So just mundane kind of maintenance-y kind of stuff, but that's what I've been tinkering around with today. So this is your video tonight. So all right, everybody, on behalf of Butterbean, I'm going to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss anything I've got coming up. You never know what it's going to be. And then don't forget, of course, this is my brackish tank with Butterbean in it. So thanks again, everybody. I'll see you real soon in the next one.